As the sun sets over London, thousands of electric lights flood the city. But although the light pollution obscures a view of the stars, tourists and residents should still look upwards. And they may be surprised to learn that the capital still has 1,500 gas lamps, some dating as far back as 1814. The gas lamp is a much softer, more mellow lighting. It's, it, it's a calming light, uh, a nice soft yellow colour. And as opposed to the electrical light in the background there, you can see it's a much brighter, much more harsh light. So what the guys, when they come along, have to do? A team of just five lamplighters from British Gas maintain the lamps by hand. A mechanical timer controls the flow to these silk mantles, which light up off a pilot light, becoming white hot. The mantles are coated in lime oxide, and their early use in London theatres sparked the phrase, in the limelight. They clean the glass, replace mantles, and relight any pilots that uh, tend to blow out. The clocks, once they're fully wound, last for about two weeks. So they've all got about 300 lamps each to deal with. So by the time they've gone round, uh, come back to the original lamp, it's all ready to be uh, wound again. When the gas lamps were first introduced 200 years ago, they were a marvel of modern technology, bringing light and relative safety to London's dark and dangerous streets. An oasis from London's light pollution, St James's Park near Buckingham Palace is fully lit with gas. It's one of the few places that people can still imagine that Dickensian atmosphere. It gives you a bit of a feel of what it might have been like back in the, the 1800s when it was just gas that was lighting the streets of London. The gas lamps have survived the arrival of electricity and the bombing of London so during the Blitz the and they're now protected by English heritage. One V and the, and the crown here. Nowadays, the main threat is the traffic, and with vans and lorries much taller than horse-drawn carriages, many of the gas lanterns have been extended upwards. At a time when budget cuts have seen some councils switch off street lighting in some areas to save money, it seems these gas lights will keep on burning.